Hello everyone. Thank you for checking out this video and welcome back to our channel. For our video today, we will demonstrate how to model this water pump in Revit using the solid and void forms when using the model in place component. If you haven't watched our tutorial about solid and void forms, we have the link on the description below. Go watch it also to learn about the different types of solid and void forms in Revit. Before we start our demo, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Thank you. We have inserted an image here of a water pump with some dimensions. So first, we are going to adjust our image to make it a scaled drawing. We are going to draw a detail line and type 570 millimeters like the image. Then select the scale icon above. Click on the first point. Then on the second point, and drag the image to make it the same length as the detail line that we just drew. So we are going to test if our reference image is already scaled. Let's draw a detail line. Okay, as you can see, the dimensions are already correct. So we are going to start to model the water pump. Let's select the model in place component. Then let's just select the generic model from the list. Let's go to level 1 and draw a reference plane. and name it as 1. Then on the east elevation, let's use extrusion. Then on the work plane, we choose reference plane 1. Then let's trace the drawing. Let's check the thickness from the side elevation. Then that will be our value on the extrusion end. Then finish edit mode. Then we do the second circle but we will have to change to wireframe so we can see the image behind. So every time we create a solid form, we will need to establish the work plane. For this one, we will pick a plane and we will select this surface. So that will be the basic way how we do it.
On level 1, we are going to add a reference plane. We copy the image to the north elevation and align to the model. So we will also add a reference plane. Then we are going to use Revolve to create the back part of the water pump. and we trace the profile. Next, we will create the blades and use extrusion. Let's just adjust the blades to the center. Then we are going to use rotate command. Select copy. Then place center. Then repeat the process. Then we mirror to the other side.
Let's copy also the image to our west elevation, then align to our model. Then we continue to create the other parts of the water pump. Then next is the base. We will also use extrusion. And trace the profile. On the north elevation, we are going to use void extrusion to subtract on the base. Other parts was also cut. So we are going to use the uncut geometry tool and select the forms. Next, we continue with all the nozzles, we will just trace all from the drawing.
so that is our demo in creating a water pump in Revit. It will give you an idea how to use solid forms and void forms in creating industrial objects in Revit. Alright, that's it for now. Hope that you have learned something new about Revit and hope to see you again on our next video. Thank you for watching.